Hey, so I really was, ju I just have to say something. I really just have to say something. I was out um, with my friends and we were driving around in a car and we just started talking about daylight savings and I got very <laughs> emotionally upset. So it's just like really, daylight savings is probably just like the stupidest thing. I just got used to it being nighttime at five o'clock. I just got used to it. Let's just say, I, I not I don't know how long daylight savings lasts, but let's just say that for the for, if it was seven months long, which I know it's not, for the first like five out of the seven months of daylight savings, when it gets dark at five o'clock, I was not used to it. Like I would, it would turn dark and I'd be like, my day is over. Like when the sun goes down, your day is basically over, okay? I don't care if you gain an hour of sleep. Like I don't want the, it to get dark at five o'clock. I finally just subconsciously didn't even realize it got dark at five o'clock. Just when you reach that point of comfort and it getting dark, the day being over at five o'clock, it changes and the world decides to revolt and it decides it wants to skip. The world says, no, sorry, I'm actually going to take away an hour of sleep from you and you're gonna get confused and you're gonna think the day's half over, but nope, you just wanna go to bed. But the world the world is just gonna be, it's just gonna keep going for another two hours and the sun's not gonna set until seven, sorry. And all for what? And all for what? Seriously, for what? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't get it. I just don't understand. Daylight savings. Let's let's wiki it. Daylight savings. Okay, I'm gonna read to you about daylight savings right now. The modern idea of daylight savings was first proposed in 1895 by George Vernon Hudson, and it was first implemented during the First World War. That it was not around at the beginning of time. So this is basically unnatural. Now I have to set back all my clocks. I have to redo all my alarms for school. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. So, th one good thing comes out of this. One good thing comes out of daylight savings. If I wanted to create something completely ridiculous and utterly stupid to just ruin mm -hmm. the lives of many, I could do it. I'm just... get very emotional about daylight savings. I'm sorry. That's it. That's all I have to say. Well... I wish you a thoroughly happy daylight savings. Thank you, George Vernon. So thanks. This is just the cherry on top of my, my,